Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. U.S. Senator visits Gigafactory Texas, checks out Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla restarts Magic Dock installations by bringing them to new area. Tesla CEO Elon Musk talks about the final piece of solving full self-driving. And, Tesla subjected to another NHTSA probe, this time for steering. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Recent posts on social media have revealed that U.S. Senator John Cornyn recently visited Tesla's Gigafactory Texas complex. During his visit, the U.S. official conversed with Tesla CEO Elon Musk. He was also photographed sitting inside what appears to be a Cybertruck release candidate. The visit was announced by the U.S. Senator himself, with Cornyn praising Giga Texas for being the second-largest manufacturing facility in the United States today. He also highlighted that the plant employs 10,000 Texans and it is one of the reasons why the state is among the country's leaders in job creation. Everything is bigger in the Lone Star State, including Tesla's Gigafactory Texas, the second largest manufacturing facility in the U.S. Tesla's impressive facility employs 10,000 Texans and is one of the many reasons why Texas is leading in job creation. Thanks Elon Musk for the visit, the U.S. Senator wrote in a post on Twitter. The U.S. Senator shared a follow-up post of his visit, featuring a photo of himself and Musk conversing. Cornyn hinted at some of the topics that he and the CEO discussed. AI, supply chains, critical minerals, SpaceX China. No shortage of important topics to discuss with Elon Musk, the official wrote. Giga Texas is one of Tesla's most impressive facilities. Today, the factory produces the Model Y crossover, and it also has a dedicated battery facility that produces 4680 cells. Reports have also indicated that the Tesla Cybertruck will enter production sometime this year, as hinted at by the increasingly frequent sightings of the all-electric pickup truck on public roads as of late. While Tesla is yet to receive permission from Texas to sell its cars directly in the state, Musk and Cornyn have maintained positive communications with each other. Just earlier this month, the U.S. Senator shared a comment about SpaceX and its contributions to the United States. The U.S. government increasingly depends on Elon Musk's SpaceX, Cornyn noted. Moving to the next update, Tesla restarts magic dock installations by bringing them to new area. Tesla has restarted the installation of the Magic Dock by building new superchargers fitted with it in Texas, making it the third region the automaker has brought the technology to. Tesla's Magic Dock was started rolling out earlier this year and is a connector that would enable electric vehicle owners with the combined charging standard, CCS, to recharge at superchargers. As early as January, there was speculation that Tesla was beginning to build the Magic Dock-equipped supercharger posts and install them in U.S. states, although the automaker did not detail where they would be installed. A further examination from Teslarati showed that New York and California were where Tesla was putting the Magic Dock superchargers. It has been some time since we've heard about the Magic Dock, as news has been more heavily focused on automakers leaving CCS and adopting Tesla's connector, the North American charging standard, NAX. However, it appears some Magic Dock superchargers are being installed once again. A new set of Tesla superchargers, equipped with the Magic Dock, was spotted near Fort Worth, Texas. There were installers present who also tested the Magic Docks with the F-150 Lightning from Ford. The Magic Dock is likely going to be a crucial part of the supercharger network, as Tesla will likely need to accommodate other EVs through CCS, as the NAX has not yet been made a standard, although other automakers have adopted it in droves. Tesla needed to build superchargers for more than just itself in order to qualify for federal funding. That was set aside to expand the network of EV chargers as more drivers transition to EVs. Moving to the next update, Tesla CEO Elon Musk talks about the final piece of solving full self-driving. Tesla CEO Elon Musk talked about the final piece of solving the company's full self-driving suite. 
Musk has claimed for years that Tesla is close to releasing a complete version of full self-driving. 2023 is no different. Earlier this year, Musk said on multiple occasions that Tesla will solve FSD this year. In March, he said at a conference with Morgan Stanley that its next-gen vehicle is expected to operate almost entirely in autonomous mode. It is understandable that many would remain skeptical, but the owners who use the full self-driving beta suite continue to talk positively about their experiences. While there are criticisms, Tesla continues to work to improve the suite. Others are also interested in adopting the technology as a nod that it is moving in the right direction. Musk said during the most recent earnings call that Tesla is in early discussions with a major OEM, and many Tesla fans believe it is Ford, although this is purely speculation. Musk is still convinced Tesla is close to solving the suite and said in a tweet recently that vehicle control is the final piece of the Tesla FSD AI puzzle. Vehicle control on a level that Tesla is looking for would be the major barrier to solving FSD. It is constantly being trained by the company's neural network, which helps improve driving behavior. However, although data is coming in at a rapid pace that is helping write less than 300,000 lines of C++ control code by around two orders of magnitude, Musk maintains that solving FSD is not a problem related to manpower. Instead, he said, the progress is training compute constrained. Musk hinted that it could be Dojo, which is now online, by simply favoriting a tweet. He also said in June that Dojo has been online and running useful tasks for a few months. Dojo is going to be responsible for continuous growth and progress in the development of FSD, which is supposed to help process real-life driving situations from the company's cars in an efficient way. Moving to the last update, Tesla subjected to another NHTSA probe, this time for steering. Tesla is being subjected to another probe from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, this time for a potential loss of steering control in Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. The NHTSA's Office of Defects Investigation, ODI, opened a preliminary investigation on July 28 that seeks to find the basis behind 12 complaints alleging loss of steering control and power steering in Model 3 and Model Y vehicles in the model year 2023. Five of these 12 reports indicate an inability to steer the car, while the other seven have reported the loss of power steering, resulting in an increased effort to control the vehicle. The NHTSA plans to scope out a population of 280,000 vehicles in total, and there has been a report of one crasher fire as a result of the issue where a driver felt their Model 3's steering get stuck, causing them to slide off the road and crash into a tree. Another driver reported the car suddenly stopped steering when leaving a shopping center. Other drivers report multiple occurrences of the issue and stated their car is a Tesla service for repair on a new steering rack and motor. The initial probe from the NHTSA determines whether the issue poses an unreasonable safety risk. If it does, the NHTSA upgrades the probe to an engineering analysis, which could then result in a recall. This process was also used for the NHTSA's probe against Tesla cars, crashing into emergency vehicles, which assessed 830,000 cars in 2022. It was upgraded to an engineering analysis in June 2022. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.